Something else that we love to see on the, on the news, uh, we've got a real appetite for this, car crashes. Very, very popular, especially when there's fog and there's a huge pile up and many dead. We love it, absolutely adore it. And the other thing we love perhaps most of all is plane crashes, absolutely amazing. Especially when it's a wide-bodied airliner, many dead, sudden conflagration, and a first world airline. Very, very popular. Um, again, are we crazy? No. We're looking for the meaning of life. It was a very accepted part of interior decoration in the early modern period to put a skull on your table. Uh, you would put a skull on your table, or have one painted and hang it up on the wall, so as not to remind you ghoulishly that everything is for naught and that every, everything is uh, headed towards death and that's the end of the story. Rather, death was being invited to make sense of life. There is something about the thought of death that clarifies what is most meaningful in life. We're constantly, as creatures, losing our sense of priorities to focus on the fact that we're constantly at risk of accident and therefore we need to focus on what our priorities are. This is something that happens with the memento mori of the skull. And in a way, it's trying to poke through our interest in these sort of scenes. These are, in many ways, the memento mori of the age. The problem is, again, as is so often the case with the news, the news takes us to something very interesting and then doesn't tie it up properly, doesn't do the final thing, which is why it leaves us very often with a background sense of unresolved dread and anxiety. These are the emotions that have been unleashed and they're not closed properly, as art does, because art is about proper closure. The news is not aware, I think, enough of its epochal responsibility in this respect. Look, in many ways, what the news constantly does is to frighten us, terrify us about everything. Bird flu, swine flu, um, UFOs, special diseases, insects, etc. There's always something new to frighten us. We're made to feel vulnerable. The one thing the news never wants to do is to give us a sense of our own resilience. Um, that would be uh, fatal. 